Good morning, and thank you for coming. Um, I'm going to go off script, which is uh, a dangerous thing to do, uh, so it could get a little bumpy, so stay with me, please. Give me a little uh, patience here. I want to talk about something that's even bigger than what's happening today. Um, we've worked, Lee and I have worked hard with Project Home over the years to create a, a vision of ending homelessness in, in Philadelphia, and we're able to do that only because of extraordinary partnerships that uh, we work very hard with uh, Mary and Joan to maintain and, and to forge. Uh, you know, when we, for a project like this to be successful, you need federal, state, local government, such as the city government in Philadelphia, as well as private philanthropists. And there's an issue right now that everybody needs to be aware of, and I really am going to ask you to, to try to support us on this. Um, and that has to do with the tax credits under the new tax law that's coming out. Um, this, the tax credits for these projects are critical to its success. I can't tell you how hard it would be, if not impossible, to fund these projects. And let me give you an idea of how significant they are. You know, the, what this uh, partnership that we've been working on with Project Home, we've been able to leverage $20 million of, of our money so far into $200 million of benefit to the community. It's now serving and has serviced 15,000 people. Um, and, and to give you an idea of, of all the partners we have, Brian Hudson, who's going to be speaking later on, who runs the Pennsylvania Finance Housing Authority, um, is, is probably our most consistent and, and important partner. And he's the one who sells these tax credits and provides them to us. And if you ask Brian, and I'm going to put him on the spot a little bit, um, Brian told me that 50% of their multifamily housing is funded through these tax credits. In the state of New, New York, it's 70%. We can't afford to lose these tax credits. It's, it's that important. So I'm going to ask you to kind of reach out to senators, to congressmen, to urge them to kind of preserve this funding mechanism. Because without it, what we're doing here today is really, really going to be difficult. I happen to believe that the laws of our country, including the tax laws, should embody the ideals that we want to be as a society, and including things like protecting people and, and justice and safety. And these tax credits, in my opinion, are about hope. They're about giving. They are about supporting the vulnerable people in our society and, and building facilities and structures for them and programs for them to give them not only stabilize their life, but to give them hope. And, and Project Home has been doing that successfully. And the reason they've been able to do that successfully is that they're, they are a holistic community. They're not just providing a roof over people's head, they're providing programs. And you can't substitute vouchers for tax credits at this level. It doesn't work. And so this is a great day today. It's a day to celebrate. It's a day because this is a project. Um, I remember when I was a young adult and, and kind of moved into my first department, was not in a particularly good section of Boston. In fact, it was in a particularly bad section of Boston. Um, but it was mine. It was a home. It was my beginning. It was a, a huge step forward uh, away from my parents as in a, a young adult and, and it represented freedom and challenge and responsibility, but also opportunity. And, and this program, this house, is about the same things. It's about giving people a chance to build a life by first building a home and a safe home where they can share with other people. Um, so please uh, reach out to your, your legislators and ask them to help here. We need this. This is important, and we're coming down to the finish line. So we don't have time to lose here. Thank you.